So this is not a traditional trailer or a traditional trailer build. It's a different kind of frame. This is not um, like your traditional where you have a platform and everything bolts on top of it. Those big sidewalls that I built actually become part of the frame. So you see this piece of angle here. That all gets welded to the sidewalls. And then in, on the floor, we weld basically like this, like T's all over. And that's our, our cross supports for our floor. So there'll be probably four of these, not including the two ends. And it allows us to have a structure for our floor. It allows us to have a flange all the way around so you can see when we put on the floor, the plate for the underbelly that you'll, all you'll end up seeing is actually these uprights and all this cavity um, will be filled with insulation. So from the other side, you can see how on the other side of the aluminum angle, it all kind of becomes one. This, this all gets welded, stitched all the way along. All the uprights get welded. There's our T there. So you can, see. There you go. So you can kind of see where everything is. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. It'll be welded all the way along. All the uprights will be welded so it becomes all one unit, one structure. So that's basically what we're trying to do. Hopefully it works out good. So this is what I'm doing. As you can see, this forms like a T. This is gonna be for the floor. And you can see why this PC, the end piece overhangs, is because this is gonna be the edge that it goes against and I need it to fit this. You can see I rounded over the edge because this has a slight curve inside. So when it goes on there, it will all become one unit. But this is how I'm putting it together. This is welded to the table, so it's perfectly straight, 90 up and down, and table's flat. So this will be pressurized down with all the clamps. I'll bang it down. This holds it. All these spacers are cut to the dimension to put this in the center. And I'll weld it in that, and that will keep it pretty straight up and down. So that's how I'm welding up these, and then they will get put into the side rails. Structure. Um, not much crazy to do, just fit it all up, weld it all up, square it up, try and get it so it's uh, ready to, to join the walls. But 
We've got most of it set up. It's basically ready to weld. I just got to clean it up. And then uh, I'll do the one side and then I'll flip it around, do this outside that's hovering in the middle of the air. And then I'll flip it over and weld the bottom edge so okay. it's all nice underneath. And then it's all one unit. The edges are off, like I was saying, because I gotta do the custom edges or ends uh, with the angles on it. But it's well ready to weld. I just wanted to send a shout out to my friend Craig Elliott from Sun Fun Trailers. I met him on one of the DUI teardrop sites and he has been so helpful, um, so willing to share his knowledge, bounce ideas back and forth. Uh, great uh, guy, built a relationship with him now, he's just a wonderful person. If you do not have the ability to maybe build your own teardrop and you're looking for one, check out Sun Fun Trailers. Uh, he cares about his product and I know he cares about his customers and I don't think he'll be disappointed. So check out Sun Fun Trailers. This being the first time working and welding aluminum and being that I'm not an experienced welder, these videos are for the sole purpose of showing you the process of how I'm building my trailer. And with any luck, maybe I'll even inspire others to step outside their comfort zone or outside the box and try something new, having fun building and creating. If nothing else, I can show you what not to do. To make sure the welds were strong enough, I did a couple of passes on some scraps of the same thickness and then I cut them in half on the saw and made sure that the penetration I was getting on my welds was good. It seemed to be successful. I have faith that they'll be strong, so it should be good. Hopefully I'll get better and better and they'll get prettier and prettier as I go, but at least I have faith that they seem to be strong enough. So how I chose what to do. I have never built anything like this with these type of materials before. So after doing some research, I decided that maybe having a rough template would be the best place to start. So there is a whole bunch of different ways to do this, but I liked this one place and I thought the construction style was unique and I wanted to do it that way. So I uh, based mine off of theirs but with lots of changes to make it work for my shape and style because mine is different in many ways with the handmade doors and handmade windows and galley hatch. Uh, there's so many details that will make it different than any of the other ones out there. Um, if all goes well, it should be a pretty cool blend of the old styling and the way they build trailers today. <laughs> 